So you might be having some issues with iOS 16, specifically on the installation portion, and maybe you can't install iOS 16, or maybe it's not working out that well. The very first thing I'd recommend doing if you're on iOS 15 or any other version of software, making sure your phone is charged up to 100%. If your phone is anything below 100%, you know, if it's over 80%, you're good. But if it starts dipping down to like 50 or 40%, I would recommend not doing that at all. Make sure it's at least over 80%. If it's at 100%, you're good. But just keep it on charge while you're updating. That's the first thing. Now, the next thing, let's say you're going through and you're trying to go and find the update, which is available in the settings application. You go down to general, you click on software update. If you are not able to see an update come out right here, then all you have to do is make sure you're not already on that version of software. So go through, click on up, click on about, which is right here, and just make sure that your phone doesn't already say iOS 16. If it says iOS 16, then you're already up to date. If you want to remove the beta from your phone, then just go ahead and scroll down into the VPN and device management and delete the existing beta. That's going to go ahead and remove it from your phone. That way you can see the official version, but the RC and this version are exactly the same thing, so it's not that big of a difference there. Now, on top of that, another big thing you can do is to go ahead and make sure you're connected to a good Wi-Fi connection. So make sure that if you're having Wi-Fi issues or whatever, or maybe you have it plugged into something, whatever, and make sure you have a solid internet connection to your phone, because if you don't, that can also cause some issues with your iPhone. And personally, I've seen this experience tons of times. So another thing you can do, if you're connected to a good Wi-Fi, exit out of that specific settings application, and go back into it, and go ahead and open up general, click on software update, and just continue to go ahead and update your phone. Try going through, and at some point, it may just end up working. That update may still not be available in your area, but that can also end up fixing it too. Now, finally, another thing, your phone, you wanna make sure your phone is supported with iOS 16. Not every phone is supported. So if you have an iPhone 6S or an iPhone 7 or 7 Plus or iPhone 6S Plus or any iPhone before that, you are not going to be eligible for this update. So please keep that in mind. I don't want you to sit there and keep refreshing. If you have one of those iPhones, it's not going to be able to be installed. If it's still not working, I would recommend waiting out a few days or a few hours and trying again, you know, periodically, and that may end up fixing it as well. So that pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, not me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.